Honorable Senators, today I rise to speak on Bill S-207, an act to amend Interpretation Act. My bill deals with the original and treaty rights of the original people of Canada. Those rights I expressly recognize and affirm by Section 35 of the Constitution Act 1982. It is my responsibility as an original senator to continue the process of shaping Canadian legislation for the betterment of our people. Honorable Senators, my bill is to offer this chamber as a small step towards upholding the rights of the Aboriginal people and standardizing the manner in which that the constitutionally recognized rights are considered and respected in the federal legislation. Our statute books are sp uh, sprinkling with what we referred to as an underrogation class, but the wording of those class is not consistent and they are absent from many pieces of legislation. My bill proposed to amend the Interpretation Act to provide that no enactment, that is, no federal statute or regulation, is to be construed so to obligate or derogate from the original and treaty rights. Those rules of interpretations provide a length through which every bill should be evaluated for compliance with the Section 35 of the Constitutions. It's assume a parliament intent to honor Aboriginal and treaty rights. This approach does away with the need to add an underrogation clause to each and every one in order to ensure that the bill contain no infringement of those rights. Please keep in mind that the proposed new section 8.3 of the Interpretation Act will be subject to subsection 3, bracket 1 of the Act, which provides that Every provision of this act apply unless contrary intention appear to, uh, to every enactment, whether enact, enacted before or after the commencement of this act. Senators, I remind you that in year 2007, the Standing Senate Committee on the Legal and Constitutional Affairs undertook their studies on Section 35, the Constitutional Act 1982, which examined the use of a non-derogation clause in Canadian legislation. In their report, they proposed some very fine recommendations to address the shortcoming in the Canadian legislation. Honorable Senators, on both sides of the chamber participated in the committee work and expressed willingness and desire to bring a resolution to this unfinished business. The detail of this can be found in, in the Standing Senate Committee reported entitled, Dig Section 35 Right Seriously. non derogation clause respect to the original, related to Aboriginals and treaty rights. Honorable Senators, the Senate have agreed to those Im important principles, including that non derogation uh, provision should be added to the Interpretation Act, and my bill simply implement what had already been adopted. For all those reasons, I'm asking your support to send this bill to the committee for what I hope will be a short but meaningful stage on the way to the House of Commons. During the committee class by class consideration of this bill, if it's referred, a correction by way of an amendment will be required to address a problem of use of a double negative in French version. The French word pass is class one, line six, comma, will need to be removed to reflect the English version and the intent of this bill. The Canadian public had an appetite for the healthy relations with the Aboriginal people, I believe. This bill is one way that we, we as a senators can contribute something positive and meaningful to the Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal Canadians. We as Aboriginal people will need the support of a parliamentarian on both House in order to bring this bill into legislation and, and I hope that you will take the time to read the committee report to give you the full background on my bill so that you can be an active participant in this process. I thank you for this opportunity to share my work, and I trust this bill will make it to the committee for further study. Michael, thank you.